What if all 50 U.S. states colonized the entire world? Well, today we're going to find out. We're going to end the simulation when there's one state left. Comment down below which state you want to win. And let's begin. And we're off. Oh my gosh, going through year one, we can already see so much expansion happening. Um, all different states are moving into Canada. Uh, Texas is basically taking all of Mexico, which is kind of what people would have expected. Arkansas was conquered by Oklahoma. Kansas was conquered by Missouri. Ohio was conquered by Indiana. And Mississippi was conquered by Alabama. Now, keep in mind, these states could actually revolt and come back to life if they feel like it, which, you know, if, if your state has some good pride, maybe we'll get some coming back here. But so far, Florida is kind of starting their domain expansion of all of South America, uh, as you can see. And Maine seems to be the first state to reach Africa and Europe at the same time. And they're taking out uh, freaking Greenland. Oh my gosh. So I'm curious if the fact that Maine got there so quickly, do they just get to own all of Africa and Europe? Uh, Florida kind of landed there earlier, but it doesn't seem to be doing much. Uh, we do have some major wars going on with Tennessee, Alabama. Louisiana, Texas. They all seem to be focusing on the mainland of America, which, you know, is a good idea. But if we look over here, Maine is kind of focusing on the rest of the world, which is unconquered and just theirs to take. Okay, this is a, a, a weird reality. If no other countries on earth existed and it was just the 50 US states, and uh, it seems like Maine had a slight of an advantage by being at the very northernmost part of uh, America, I guess besides Alaska. Alaska isn't doing too much work. Although usually they would actually have land access uh, to um, Russia, but that doesn't seem to be there in our simulation, unfortunately. <laughs> so Maine gets a tiny advantage. We're already 16 years in. If we go into the statistics, Maine has gotten quite a bit of land mass. Oh my gosh. We're already down to 37 nations, which means quite a lot of them are being conquered, annexed, etc. Uh, Texas is staying strong, but I was kind of hoping for more of a fight at this point in. But I guess their only way out would be Mexico and Florida kind of cut them off there. And uh, if we go back to the rest of the world, uh, we can just see Maine. Um, I think this probably gives them a pretty good advantage when it comes to making money, resources, as Maine is at. It looks like 3,000 gold. They might not actually be the richest uh, state right now, or I guess we could say country. If we go to the statistics, the richest state right now is actually Florida, um, followed by Maine, although Maine is growing pretty quickly at that. New Hampshire was just conquered by Maine. Maine is not even just going to expand for the rest of the world, which they have almost fully conquered. They're just taking out Australia right now. Uh, they're also taking out New Hampshire. Uh, Tennessee was just conquered by Alabama. This is going to be an absolutely insane video because if any state could actually put up a fight against Maine, I'm just curious. I want to know, can anyone actually destroy Maine now? I was not expecting this when I started the simulation. And if you're curious what these little white dots around the map are. These are actually different city capitals for all of these different countries that, you know, uh, used to be used to exist. Uh, they, they, don't, they don't exist now, unfortunately. <laughs> or fortunately, if you're from Maine, I guess. In other news, Pennsylvania was conquered by Virginia, Georgia was conquered by Alabama, and Virginia was conquered by New York. So there is a lot of spicy stuff going on. And it looks like Alabama has taken most of Florida, or what used to be Florida, and Florida has just taken up a lot. And oh my gosh, what just happened? Okay, Maine was conquered by Vermont. What? Okay, I guess I guess their capital was pretty low down here. Um, I didn't expect that at all. Okay, that, that was a big twist of events. Now Vermont is taking over the rest of the world, and Florida is starting to take up Africa. I, I, didn't, I didn't see that coming at all. Um, Florida's capital somehow now is all the way down here. I don't know how they made it there. I think that's Haiti. I, <laughs> we're going to move on. Um, I just did not expect Vermont to take out... Oh my gosh. And New York is doing their own little domain expansion uh, throughout the rest of the U.S. and a little bit of Canada too. Um, I just cannot believe I just witnessed that. Maine was taken out. They might still come back. We never know, but uh, <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> Idaho was conquered by Nevada. Unfortunately for the uh, Idahoans, the, the potato farmers. There was a revolt in Texas, and Mississippi was formed, and so was Louisiana. But Louisiana was immediately conquered by Mississippi, unfortunately for them. And if we go back to the rest of the world, it seems like Florida this time has actually taken this moment and made it shine, because they are taking up pretty much all of Africa, South America, all of the Middle East, and uh, they're starting to run over 
Asia as well, while Vermont, actually, I don't know what happened. Um, I don't even know what happened. Before it was Vermont, I guess Vermont didn't really take up that moment and really shine. North Carolina, which hasn't really changed so much border-wise in the mainland, they just decided to expand all the way out. And now they have all of Europe and they're trying to take out Russia too. This is, this is insane. Oh my gosh. This is just like states that I didn't really expect to be contenders for this video are. And um, I guess unfortunately for California, there is not much going on for them. I expected they'd be a big part of this video, but since they, they're kind of landlocked, which they're not, <laughs> they're not really landlocked at all. Um, but there's no uh, shallow water next to them. So they don't really have a lot of movement there. They're just getting into fights with their neighbor, Nevada and Montana. And if we look over here, North Carolina is now fighting back on the mainland of the U.S. against Vermont. They want it all, okay? As we could look up here, Alaska has been doing some slow expansion, taking uh, Greenland and moving around a little bit in Canada, but they haven't really been doing too much. Maybe Alaska will be a good contender for this video. And uh, at the top of the gold category here is Florida still. So um, they are having quite a good time. I guess they got Australia as well. Uh, it would be really bad if someone decided to attack them right over here, because that's their capital. I think if they take out that, then uh, Florida's done for. I don't know how they move their capital. I guess that's a thing you could do. Uh, a revolt in North Carolina actually just happened, and Maine was reformed! Okay, okay, Maine could actually fight back here and take back the rest of the world that they kind of lost. Um, you know, the chances are small, but it's still there. It looks like New York is actually a puppet state of uh, North Carolina as well. Is it North Carolina? That's where Mr. Beast lives, right? That's interesting. Mr. Beast might be running this whole campaign to take over the world. I mean, uh, regardless of his recent cancellation. It looks like uh, Texas has been kind of been eaten by Mississippi, unfortunately. Um, they have my home. My home is gone, unfortunately. I'm now a Mississippi Mississippian. Wow. Hawaii is doing a little expansion as well, taking all of these islands um, over here. What's this? What's this city right here? Hawaii. -e. They just created another city on this random island. Unless that, no, I think they just made that. They, they named it Hawaii. -e, and I like it. I'm messing with it. In other news, Florida is continuing their expansion. It looks like every bit of land that wasn't taken has now been taken, mostly by Florida. If we look at this area right here, that is a lot of land. Um, and Texas continues to be eaten up. Now we're down to 16 nations that don't include New York does include California, but this is just not how I expected this video to go at all. Uh, Hawaii is now declaring war on Alaska. We'll see how that goes. They're just fighting in the water right now. Very deep, deep water. Once we get to 100 years in, I'm actually going to double the speed of this and it will get, it'll get a, uh, quite a bit uh, crazier. So <clears throat> once we hit 100 years here, I'm going to double the speed to 2x and we will see just how crazier it gets. But right now, there's actually another war going on between North Dakota and North Carolina. North Carolina is getting greedy. They want more land is, uh, and uh, it looks like Kentucky is supporting them a little bit here. <laughs> and poor Texas. We're a former shell of what we used to be. It's so sad. But Florida's supporting them. That's nice of you. Thank you, Florida. Florida and Texas, you know, arm in arm, even though you guys have the rest of the world and we just have a little slither of what used to be Texas and Mexico. I just want to see another nation or another state at least get some of this land out here. I just don't think it's going to happen. It really is giving Florida the advantage with gold. Although, hold up. Texas has 8,000 gold. We, we have Texas, we, we have 8,000 gold and Florida only has 7,000, um, which is a surprise. We're making quite a bit of money, but we're not, we're not using it very well in these, uh, in this land acquisition. <laughs> not, not very well. Indiana revolted and came back to life. As we could see, we could see if they fight back. Maine hasn't been doing too much since when they, uh, they reformed. Actually, they're a puppet state right now of North Dakota. Texas supported Florida with 1,700 gold. That might not be a great idea. Oh my gosh, Mississippi is now a puppet state of Florida. Florida is expanding even more than we thought. And Montana is actually the leader in gold right now. I don't know how they got gold because they're over here. And there's like not a lot of natural resources for them to have. But, you know, it's working out. <laughs> and it looks like Utah was just conquered by California. This is crazy. Lots of wars going on here. Um... And uh, North Carolina is just kind of chilling. All of Europe, half of Russia, they're just having a good time.
I can't believe we went from Maine owning this to Vermont and now North Carolina. It's just kind of uh, stuff that I didn't expect. <laughs> And Mississippi is expanding a little bit more back in America, but they're a puppet state of Florida, so it kind of is Florida that's expanding, not so much Mississippi. I wonder if that's going to uh, be kind of a not a great thing for Texas if Florida ever decides to fight them back because Texas gave them like two grand. That's quite a bit of money. Alabama revolted and uh, they came back to life. Maine was conquered by North Carolina. Uh, unfortunately for them, they revolted, came back, and they got conquered again. And we're actually at 100 years in. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention, but we can double the speed now, and things are going to get quite a bit crazier. Um, Indiana was conquered by Florida. Oh my gosh. Arkansas, Arkansas revolted, Kentucky revolted, and Utah revolted as well. A lot of uh, states are coming back here. And Texas just, they're holding on strong, just a little bit. They're like, we're, we're here, kind of. Uh, and Florida is definitely still in the lead for, <laughs> for area, unless something crazy happens. But um, now their capital is kind of protected behind this giant puppet state of Mississippi, which is now turning mostly into just Florida. Um, there has to be like a real alliance between North Carolina, Texas, all of the other states right now, which we're now down to 17 to fight against Florida. Um, to really see something good happen here, but I don't really see that happening ever. I mean, Florida's actually kind of in alliance with Texas right now. And California is eating into the northern Texas area. Please stop. No. California is destroying Utah right now. Oh, rest in peace. Utah keeps on coming back and keeps on getting killed by California. That's not very nice of you guys. Just let them chill for a second, okay? Texas declared war in California, although it's not its not going well for us. It's not going well. There's a more depleting area over here. And Florida is just kind of kind of vibing uh, with most of the world being called Florida, okay? If you're in Australia, you're Florida now, okay? You're a Floridian, as they would say. You're not, you're not, you're not Australian, okay? okay? You're not. There's a lot of global wars happening right now. Oh my gosh. Uh, Connecticut was just conquered by North Carolina and kind of West Virginia at the same time. North Carolina is starting their expansion onto Florida. As you can see, this global war over here. Uh, North Carolina is starting to expand into all of this territory, taking up a lot of Asia right now and a lot of Africa. What, what just happened? Oh, Florida was conquered by Mississippi. I can't believe it. Mississippi just pushed onto Florida's capital. And, cap and Florida had to move their capital all the way over here. Um, I can't believe it. And now the rest of the world is all for North Carolina's taking. I cannot believe this has happened. This is insane. <laughs> okay. Um, and right now the leader in gold is still Montana somehow. Oh, Texas again. And Texas is actually expanding as well into a lot of South America. Um, again, these things happen so quickly because all you got to do is take over this capital and you just kind of own the area. Oh, and Florida's gone again. They just got conquered by North Carolina, which is now definitely the leader. Um, holding even more land mass than Florida had before. And we're actually already down below 10 nations. Things get out of control very fast. Um, wow. Okay, Hawaii was conquered by Alaska, but there's still a little bit of Hawaii over here. Although that's Texas now. Okay, Texas is around, but there's a little city called Hawaii. <laughs> that is so interesting. Delaware was conquered by Alaska as well. Alaska is getting pretty frisky over here. And uh, North Carolina just continues to expand. California and Texas are having a real fight right now. And it's not looking good for Texas. No. Fight back. Oh, wait. It's kind of even here. Although Alaska is kind of helping um, California, I think. Again, most of these wars are just happening in the mainland of America. There's not really too much going on in the rest of the world, which I kind of was hoping to see. <laughs> but maybe we'll see that later. Um, but for now, it's just... It's just North Carolina. Is this Greenville? Is Greenville over here? Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast, where are you? I'm looking for you. Is, is that you? No. Oh, and uh, Texas died. Okay. Okay, Texas died, but then they came back. Okay, you. Uh, we died. We revolted. We came back, and California owns most of Mexico now. Um, these revolts definitely make it interesting for your state to come back and fight, but... I don't know if you really get a good chance if most of the world is this. Oh my gosh. Since Texas was actually taken out, most of South America was just taken by North Carolina. They have that much land, which is absolutely insane. Hawaii is fighting all of these different nations, Texas and Alaska, um, with their just small little islands here. They don't seem to be holding up too well. 
but they're just kind of barely there. If Alaska pushes forward any more, then they kind of own all of Hawaii again. Again, because they did that earlier. <laughs> North Dakota is actually putting up a pretty good fight over here, um, taking up quite a bit of land. They might actually be a good contender against North Carolina, although, you know, we still have this situation going on. But um, it's interesting. Also, North Carolina did move their capital to this island right here. I don't know what island this used to be, but uh, North Carolina made that their capital. It must be pretty beautiful. Alaska is getting into a pretty frisky war right now in Greenland. Um, let's say that's Alaska, actually. Alaska has two different territories right here. All the way up here, down there. They're expanding. And Texas is just a sh like sliver of what they used to be. Oh, man, they're so tiny. It's just like, I don't even know where this is. It's just, just like a small area of Mexico. Uh, but California has the rest. And then it's crazy. All right, we're 235 years in. It's time to ramp up the speed and find out who truly will be the last nation here. I mean, we clearly see who the leader is at this point. Uh, but there are revolts that can always happen. But uh, it, it, it is looking great, okay? It is not looking great. Okay, Alaska is doing quite a bit right now, fighting back, but they've already become a puppet state. No, Alaska, the second leader in land, has now become a puppet state of North Carolina, which kind of takes them out of this fight entirely. Um, this is crazy. Unless a miracle happens. I mean, California is expanding quite a bit. All of these different states are revolting just to support California. Even Florida uh, is supporting California, which is interesting. Um, so there might, there might be something crazy happening here. Oh, oh my gosh. What is going on? Uh, this fight is actually getting crazy because California just took out most of the U S but obviously North Carolina still has quite a big advantage here, but California might be the saving grace, the saving grace of the Americans. Not to say that the North Carolinas aren't the Americans, but at this point, I mean, they're, they're everything but American. Okay. They took out everything. Who's going to win here? I'm curious. Who knows, Texas could make a comeback. I'm just saying, it's possible. There's a there's a plausibility of it. Oh, okay, okay. That uh, that little spurt was cool. Oh, oh, that didn't work out. That did not work out for California, unfortunately. They are gone. They are donezo. Donezo. And Alaska is getting eaten up. They're a puppet state anyways. Um, okay, okay, okay. Uh, all of these states are revolting. Alaska is actually a puppet state of North Carolina anyways. There are revolts still happening when <laughs> the year 333, um, six nations left. They revolt, they come back. Oh, Texas, no, oh, take, take a look at North, North Carolina real quick. No, okay, didn't work. Yeah, okay, so now it's North Carolina and Alaska, which used to be a puppet state. So it's just a one-on-one, -on -one, a 1v1 battle here. Um, Let's see who wins. North Dakota decided to, uh, to do a revolt, but they uh, didn't last too, <laughs> last too long. Um, let's just see. Does Alaska eventually... Oh, okay. They got eaten up. They got eaten up. And uh, our final state, which owns the entire world, <laughs> is North Carolina. All right. Thanks for watching. If you want more of these, please subscribe and uh, watch this video right here. It's a banger. And goodbye.